Reporting is one of the most critical things that we do through the progress of uh, building a ship. Uh, reports, there's many different types of reports for different people and different departments uh, that require different information that in essence make different decisions depending on the reports that they actually generate. One of the key challenges we have is how do we get the most up-to-date information in these reports and how do you deliver a report that is easily consumed by uh, the department. And each department has their own kind of, we'll say, tradition on how they want to formulate their report. So one way that we can do it here is uh, using uh, the Enterprise P Publisher LT. And in essence, now with Ship Constructor 2016 R2, you can populate an Excel template with the latest information of Ship Constructor. And this can be generated again through Enterprise Platform um, Publisher LT, which anybody in your department can actually run it. So it doesn't just have to be engineering. It can actually be your, your purchasing, your weight uh, management um, department, uh, planning and production and so forth. So here are some examples of some reports that I'm going to use as my template. Uh, so in essence, all my reports have uh, a source tab. And this source tab is just um, pretty much virtually all the information of uh, the project. So this one is a part report. So it has absolutely all the parts and every single attribute of that part. And then from that, I create uh, different uh, sheets. Uh, here I use a power pivot, but many people just use pivot tables or any other type of Excel. And with this, these reports, they're an interactive report, so I can actually start clicking on uh, these reports and it will generate me information from the information that's uh, derived in the source. So if I want to interrogate, in this case, uh, the weight per uh, block, I can look at my unit, select my unit, it tells me my weight, uh, it tells me the stock and uh, the weight per stock, so I can kind of see what is in each of these units. Uh, I can do some weight analysis um, per unit again, so I can find out what type of parts um, have different weights. And again, these are just the reports I've generated as a template. Every company that I've gone to um, pretty much has their own set of reports they want to generate. So this is just an example to give you an idea. But in essence, all these reports is generated from the source information. So in essence, what we're going to do with Publisher LT is populate this source information with the latest information that's in the marine information model from Ship Constructor, and it'll automatically populate these reports. Um, so again, here's an, a couple, another one that has length by system. Uh, so for each of my systems and per unit, it tells you uh, the length of each one of them. Um, I have nest reports, so I can find out which parts have been nested and which ones haven't. If I want to see how my progression of my production is going, again, there it's interactive, so I can select different units. Um, a different report I have is uh, profile cutting. Uh, so if I want to analyze some nests, I can select my unit, uh, select the stock that I want to uh, look at, and then I can actually select the nest and it tells me all the parts that are within the nest um, and their length. Uh, I can look at the shape to see how much shape I have in different units. I've categorized it from bent, uh, straight, and twisted. And I can even look at my items that are not nested or do a little bit more investigation if I want to see what parts have uh, not been nested and gives me the count as well as the length. The last report I have is an assembly report. Um, and again, same kind of source or same kind of idea where it uses the source as the main tab. And it's an interactive uh, report, so I can select it and it changes the properties. One additional thing I did add is I added a, ta a table here, not realistic values per se, but uh, for each of the stages, I specified the maximum weight and maximum length. And what this allowed me to do, or allows me to do, is that I can have a specific report on giving me the assemblies that have exceeded its max weight. Again, my, my values weren't realistic, but uh, you can enter it with any uh, value you want. So as I uh, select 
select these units, it will tell me the units that have uh, exceeded the max uh, weight, um, as well as I have one here that exceeds uh, the maximum length. So it gives me the assembly, it gives me um, the length for, for each of the uh, three uh, coordinate systems and also which assembly it's in. And this is just another uh, visual representation of it. So how do we generate this? So in essence, you will have to generate a report uh, as your template. Uh, you can use your current information just to get your, your raw data. And then you can now populate it th uh, this template from uh, using the Publisher LT. So if we start Publisher LT, uh, you'll get the same kind of window here. And the key thing now is that anybody can actually generate this. The, the reports that are generated, the template that's uh, generated, this can actually be uh, generated from a, a cent central management system. So your administrator, your CAD administrator, or uh, whoever's defining these reports. And it can have different people defining different reports for different departments. Uh, so first thing you have to do is determine what you want to load. So say, for example, we want to generate um, the part uh, report. So you go to your load manager, uh, you go select your parts. And in this case, I'm going to select um, all parts in my project, which in this project, I only have two units as I'm just starting off. So when it gets loaded, all the parts are uh, loaded. I click on operations, select my operation I want, and I want to pick my waveform part report. So what this will do is it will copy that template, populate that information uh, currently in um, the project into that report and generate a new report. And you keep all your graphs and your other uh, Excel items that you've created. So that's my parts. So say I want to also create uh, my assemblies assembly report. So I select my assembly, select my operation, and click my waveform assembly report. Again, depending on your department, you might want to reduce the amount of operations. Um, so if it's only a generating report that they want, you can just have one operation. You don't need to have all these. And each department can have their own set of operations, so you don't have to uh, get confused with who does what and have a huge list. Uh, so you pretty much set here. I've set my output folder uh, to generate the reports. Um, let's see here. Let's specify a folder. So publish files, that's where the uh, files are going to go, and I click Run. So what it's doing right now is it's uh, opening my, my project, getting the information, uh, putting that information into uh, that Excel template that I created, um, and this, creating a new report for it. So it generated the report for me, so I can close this. I can go to this uh, folder. It gives me my two reports. Uh, I broke them down into folder structure. Again, whoever defines your operation can define it however they want. So if I go to my part report, uh, there's some files in here. I could have created, uh, deleted them, but I decided not to uh, just for uh, reference. But in, es in essence, what this is is this TSV is the raw source data, and it already copied that information into this uh, Excel um, folder. So let's close some of these, because right, Excel doesn't allow you to open two Excels with the same file name. So as you can see, this is a the source data gets populated with my new project. Again, it only had the two units compared to what I had in my template. Um, a good practice, sometimes you need to do it, sometimes you don't, is just if you go to re refresh all, uh, because these tabs that are uh, using the information from here sometimes need to be refreshed. So if you just go refresh all, it'll make sure all your 
uh, values have been uh, refreshed or all your reports have been refreshed and then now you can go to your weight analysis again I'm using power view so it takes a little bit of time to open up so you can see it has my two units same report it just has less units um, you can go to my nested gives me again my items from that have been nested if I select my unit it tells me from unit one uh, how many parts have not been nested and how many have been nested as well as some other more information again these are just reports uh, that I've created um, again your, your company will have uh, something totally different Again, length by system so I ho hope that was useful to give you an idea of how you can uh, generate reports. And again, anybody in your organization can generate reports. You don't require engineering um, to generate these reports anymore. Now with Publisher LT, which requires no CAD environment um, or knowledge, allows you to generate this information. And once you set up the, the templates, you can keep on updating these templates uh, from a central managed uh, person or department without the individual person generating those reports knowing how those templates are being um, changed or updated. It's automatically going to use the latest template. So I hope that was useful.